Uh, I would like to thank the, the, the Sculpture Park Committee, but especially Janet and, and uh, Pat for their generous contribution to this shelter. I, you know, I've, been, I've had the fortune to be involved with uh, the St. Ferial Island since Jim Bittner appointed me back in 1980. And, and I, you know, watching this island grow and develop, uh, I, I remember when Jim gave us gave us this great big page about that thing. He says, here, this is this is the reuse plan. Go ahead and put it put it to work. He says, uh, and one one thing you can be sure of, we don't have to <laughs> and, and it still holds true today. <laughs> but you know, having having the opportunity and, and doing a lot of things on the island down here, uh, the transgression that it's taken in, in the last 35 years is phenomenal. I, and I look back at at the first big push was uh, the redevelopment of uh, Lawler Park over there with with uh, the park itself. And we went with the stone building and came down Blackhawk Avenue. At the same time, there was a nonprofit organization that came forward and says, we would like a ballpark complex down on the island. And they started, and we have one of the finest softball baseball complex in southwest Wisconsin and it was put together by a group of volunteers and I and then I believe it was 2005 Florence came to the city and the reuse committee and, and says I have this vision <laughs> on this statue park and I think I really know where it can go and it's only going to cost two million dollars to do this and they said we said great and going back and on the old uh, philosophy what Jim Bittner says this these things are great but the city doesn't have any money and then in addition to that uh, we have down there the, the St. Farrell Island Memorial Gardens what it is 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 the people in this community have stepped forward and said this is what we want we have a treasure here, and this treasure is unreal, un unbelievable. It's 175 acres of prime real estate on the largest river in this continent. Unbelievable. Communities up and down this Mississippi River would love to have a resource like this. It draws people in from all over the world to come and enjoy and see the Father of Waters in our back door. And this island is surrounded by the Mississippi River. You know, and it and seeing Yeah. And seeing seeing this picnic shelter come to fold uh, is what a tremendous asset it is. And and the other day I was down here talking with Mike Douglas and we turned and we took a look at it. Wow, the grandeur of that shelter uh, has just Want this whole part alive, and it's just so exciting to see that. And somebody asked me, I think earlier, is it going to be used? All our shelters get used all the time throughout the summer months. This park, a lot of times they come by, and these two picnic tables sitting out in the middle of the grass. People are enjoying the park here. They do that throughout. And I, I guess I would be amiss if I wouldn't forget about the newest addition to the park and that's our, our frisbee golf and I as I was coming down here again there were people out there playing that frisbee golf golf so it all of these things kind of come together I, and, and it's and it's the people of this community saying this is what we want and we're going to figure out how to get it and we're just going to move forward and it's and, and I love working with Florence because I always get a big hug from her because I can always see that twinkle in her eye as she just mentioned, it's her dream. It's her dream coming <coughs> full force all the way around. And it's your effort that has gone out and has brought this uh, through this. And it brought the Pat and Janet Lamey, I know, into my life. So, <laughs> you know, thank you. And, and the co contributions to all the people that have made this part grow. We're, and I didn't realize how much of uh, emphasis but right behind us is something a lot of people are starting to hear a lot about, and that's the, the Trail of Presidents. There have been 22 presidents of the United States, plus Vincenzi Fox, and we were just talking about him a few minutes ago, uh, who was a former president of Mexico, 